Hello, my name is Richard Lee, and today I will be presenting on ad hoc procs, sensing mobile ad hoc collaborative device formations using dual ultra wideband radios. Before I begin, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my amazing collaborators at Microsoft Research for hosting me on summer internship and sponsoring this really fun work. Computing devices play an increasingly important role in our everyday interactions and collaborations. However, collaboration across devices remains tedious, particularly hindering multi-device usage in ad hoc situations when time is to connect devices is already limited. In particular, supporting ad hoc collaboration across mobile devices is challenging, requiring users to first configure a communication channel between devices, which can be peer-to-peer -peer like Bluetooth or a web-based cloud service like Google Drive. And second, once that communication is established, requiring users to navigate a slew of menus to find the desired operation, such as send this particular photograph. What if cross-device interaction was as easy as physical proximity driving a natural user interface? We tackled both of these challenges by designing ad hoc procs, which uses a dual ultra-wide band or UWB radio system that allows devices to form ad hoc network connections with each other for peer-to-peer -peer communication, and enable them to have spatial awareness of neighboring devices, tracking their position and orientation. For full implementation details, please see our paper. In the meantime, several of the highlights include designing a round-robin ranging algorithm for ad hoc prox devices to discover each other and track the position and orientation of remote devices using a machine learning algorithm on features extracted from UWB time of flight measurements. We found that the UWB signal greatly suffered from interference caused by human bodies, including hand motion, so we included cap capacitive sensors for detecting grip to mitigate the effects of the interference. As part of the wireless packets used for ranging, we also left a few extra bytes for side channel communication. This allows devices to send data such as user interface updates in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion. Example updates include window location and sizing. With the system in place, I'll now go on to the second part of our work, the methodology. We designed a study that utilized paper props attached to our sensors, asking people to collaborate and analyze a data set printed out on paper maps. The goals of the study were both to facilitate our understanding of how co-located collaborators behaved and to collect realistic sensor data during these behaviors. As part of the study's protocol, we assigned different form factor devices to each participant, and they had to fold the pieces of paper to fit these form factors. Through this study, we recorded a data set of videos demonstrating various collaborative behaviors, including individual work, like the top left figure, working in pairs, as well as full group discussions like the bottom left figure. All of these exchanges were also prepared with corresponding sensor data. Our question then became, what behaviors do we observe in these sessions that can be supported and enhanced using the obtained sensor signals? The first observation we made was that participants frequently rearranged devices to line up their content. The constant rearrangement indicated that the participants had the need to create a larger workspace. We also observed participants adopt task-based division of labor at times, attributing different roles to their respective devices. Such arrangements suggested that people needed ways to flexibly propagate content to other nearby devices. Our third observation was that devices often served as a proxy for the orientation and relative formation of a user's body relative to their collaborator. These dynamics offer an opportunity to capture insightful aspects of individual and group activities around shared physical artifacts. Finally, during individual work as well as dyadic collaboration, we observed participants orienting their device toward themselves to signal varying degrees of unavailability. In contrast, during sharing phases, Participants often place their device in more public orientations to afford viewing by others. These observations revealed opportunities for contextual interaction techniques to make collaborations more seamless. We designed a few interaction techniques 
that leveraged the advantages posed by our system and also support some of the themes of behaviors we observed in the formative study. This first technique creates an, a portal upon physical proximity and allows users to drag files into and out of it. In a second study in which participants returned to try the system running in real time, they reported that this was their favorite technique. The second technique combines our system with a tilt sensor to enable contextual tilt. Devices know which remote device it is being tilted toward. In this example, a tilt copies a file to the target device. Finally, the formative study revealed that space was always a commodity, and this interaction technique allows users to zoom into a file and have it span across multiple devices. Note that these techniques are not the main contribution of this work, but rather they are examples to showcase what can be done with sensing spatial awareness and peer-to-peer -peer communication. We see our work as a foundation or platform for others to build their cross-device interaction techniques upon. Indeed, we are excited to investigate how useful some of these designed interaction techniques are in the context of real collaborative tasks. For instance, we could rerun our formative study with the digital devices and some of these techniques enabled instead. In this talk, I motivated the need for computing devices to be able to better support ad hoc collaborative tasks. I discussed the design and implementation of ad hoc procs, our dual UWB system that enables device tracking and communication. Then, I talked about the combined formative study and sensor data collection study we conducted, observing collaborative behaviors and recording sensor data. We took these learnings to guide the prototyping of some example interaction techniques. We hope that they demonstrated the potential of more seamless and natural cross-device interactions enabled by our system. Thanks for listening.